Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I got the kids home from college and I'm gonna make one of their favorite appetizers tonight. We're gonna to cook some deer heart. So stay tuned, your mouth will be watering. <music> This is real simple to cook, doesn't take any more than about 10 minutes beginning to end. I'm gonna go through the ingredients for you guys first. First of all, I've got a venison heart that's fresh. I got salt, pepper, garlic powder. Got about a quarter stick of butter. If you have a bigger heart, you may want more than that. I got a pan, spatula, sharp knife, and I got some toothpicks so we can eat it right out of the pan. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by rinsing the deer heart really good, trying to get as much blood out of it as I possibly can. I'm gonna cut it in half. And when I do, I'm gonna find that there's probably gonna be some more dried blood in there that I wanna go ahead and rinse out. So I'm gonna take that back to the sink. And side's not too bad. A Little bit of blood in a couple of these chambers right here. Try to get as much of that dried blood out as I possibly can. This definitely helps with the flavor a bit not to have that dried blood in there. Gotta think steak is muscle, right? And the heart is the strongest muscle in the body. A lot of people don't like the heart. It can't be overcooked, but man, if you cook it right, it is tasty. Okay, got that cleaned out and ready to go ahead and uh, skin the outside membrane off it. Then want to go ahead and uh, cut out as much sinew in the outer membrane that I possibly can. And uh, I take a sharp knife and try to get just under the, the membrane and begin to trim that membrane off. And the sharp knife helps you to go ahead and trim it so you're not cutting off too much of the excess meat. Take that outside membrane right off of that so it's all meat. Then there's a whole bunch of membranes and sinew that's up at the top of the heart. And then if you look inside, it looks like a spider web of all the sinew that's in there in between the chambers. Got to make sure you get that stuff out. Clean it up in there the best that you can. There you go, it only takes about 30 seconds or so. Got all the big pieces of sinew off of there. We're ready to dice it up. So now that I've got all the membrane and sinew taken off of there, I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter in the oven there. Like I said, about a quarter stick for a small heart. If you have a bigger heart, you'll go ahead and use a little bit more butter. And then while that's starting to melt down, I'm gonna go ahead and Cut this into cubes or chunks. Not too big, you know about bite size. This thing's really gonna flash fry down. It's gonna cook pretty quick. Trying to make them fairly close all to the same size so they cook evenly. Try not to cut my finger again like I did last week skin in the deer. This was just a year and a half old deer, so the heart wasn't huge, but it's still gonna be tasty. Butter's starting to melt up over there. Let's see if we can time this right. I got the butter melted and I got the uh, venison heart all cubed up. So I'm gonna take the little cubes of the venison, I'm gonna put them in the melted butter right there, and then right away, I'm gonna go ahead and get some salt on it. Get some pepper on it. 
and a little bit of garlic powder. Super simple ingredients, only four of them. Butter, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once I've got it in there, it's starting to fry. It's gonna go quick, so I wanna make sure I just get it evenly spread around the pan between the butter and the spices, and then just let it cook down for a minute. What you're trying to do is just make sure you get all the pink out of it. You don't want to overcook the heart, but you don't want it raw either, so you just got to keep an eye on it. I had to put my damn old man glasses on because I can't see whether or not it's the right color. I usually don't wear them doing this stuff because they reflect off there, but I can't see. Almost done. I mean, literally, we've been cooking it maybe a minute and a half at most. Let's try to get the rest of these flipped over right here. One more time. Make sure we just get the pink out of it. I'm going to pull one out right here. Just check and see. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. Not much. Okay, let that finish up about 30 seconds. It'll be time to get some toothpicks and eat. Okay, they're done. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut the burner off. And uh, I'm gonna pull them off of here. Just set it on the cutting board and just uh, let it finish cooking for maybe another 30 seconds or a minute off the burner. Make sure it cools down so we don't burn our tongues off. Then uh, college kids and I are gonna eat some venison heart for dinner. Fresh deer only a week or two ago. So here it is. We've got our venison heart all cooked up. Kids are eating it. Literally all we do is take a toothpick, put it right down in the pan, grab a piece and eat it up. Mm. That's wow. yummy. So good. Real quick recipe folks, 10 minutes, four ingredients, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and butter. It's our appetizer before we have a little turf and turf tonight. We're having venison heart for dinner, and we're having uh, beef goulash for dinner. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>